Hello my celestial friends! I'm Echo, the Saving Sorceress, and today we're going to save some seeds, make a little plant magic, and try to discover if we've accidentally grown some pumpkins. Join me, let's find out. <laughs> something I need to admit to all of you. I have a little bit of a plant obsession. I know I don't need any more avocado trees, but I just can't stop growing them. I mean, what else are you supposed to do when you eat an avocado, right? I definitely consider myself a budding green witch. I'm still learning how to best take care of all of my plant babies, but I'm determined to learn how to do it. So let's hop over to the garden. So as you can see here, I have quite a large and thriving pumpkin plant, or so you'd think. It turns out to be a very masculine plant, unfortunately, and it's only created male flowers, or at least that's what I was given to understand until today. Today, I was looking underneath the plant and discovered these. That's right, guys, pumpkin seeds. It looks like we ha must have some sort of thief on our hands. Um, there has to have been a pumpkin <laughs> that grew from this plant, but somehow the pumpkin has disappeared. But because I've got these seeds in the future, probably next year, I will hopefully be able to try this little experiment again. I mean, clearly. This is a healthy place to have a pumpkin plant. So, I just maybe need to provide it with a little bit more protection and maybe I'll get some lovely little pumpkins next year. You'll never believe what I just found, you guys. A female flower. Female pumpkin flower that I believe has been fertilized. Look at female parts. <laughs> And look at the baby pumpkin that is hiding underneath. I'm so excited. I'm going to do everything I can to protect this and maybe I'll actually have a pumpkin. I'm so excited. This is amazing. This is not a drill everyone. I repeat this is not a drill. I have two open female pumpkin flowers today. I am so excited. Look at all these beautiful flowers. And here is another female. Look at that beautiful potential baby pumpkin. I'm gonna fertilize them. All right, so this is a great looking male flower. I'm going to pick it and fertilize these female flowers. Is this obscene? <laughs> I'm just so excited. Oh, you gotta kind of rip open the flowers, so it's sad. Its beauty is no longer going to shine with us, but they only live for one day anyway, and there are many more. Maybe I'll get demonetized. I've not been monetized, so I'm not sure that demonetization is really a threat <laughs> just yet. These are such beautiful, beautiful pumpkin plants. I really didn't think I was gonna get any chance of having pumpkins, though. I'm so excited. Oh dear. I've protected this one too much. Can't get to it. All right, I'm gonna do that with a few more flowers and hopefully these will get nice and fertilized. I'd say that's progress. Look at how pumpkin-y it looks. It's getting very bulgy. I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Put a little clothespin on the end of it to protect the flower. 
closed it up after I pollinated it so that it wouldn't get anything bad inside. But I am just so pleased. I can't wait to see how big it gets. And here we've got one of two new little babies to look forward to in the future. Look at how curly that little piece is. Oh my gosh, I love these. Pumpkins are so whimsical. <laughs> and here, all the way over here, oh dear, the lighting is off, but that is where yet another baby is. <sighs> This is just so exciting. I am looking forward to this so, so very much. Oh my gosh. Look what we have here. Oh, let's remove the protective netting. Gotta keep the deer and rabbits off of it. But look at this beautiful pumpkin. Oh my gosh. It's just a baby for now, but it's growing bigger. I didn't actually see the stripes on it before, so it's definitely developing. Oh, look at it. It's so tiny and cute, though. Oh my gosh. So precious. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at the other one, see if that's doing okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so big compared to the other one, but still super tiny. Oh, it's so adorable too. Look at its little speckles. I hope you can get a good look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so thrilling. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting pumpkins to actually show up this year because it's so late, but here they are! Oh wow! And I actually fertilized these two myself by hand. Well, you'll probably have already seen that video. <laughs> I'm just really proud of it. Alright, let's see what else we have in store. Ooh, we've got another female flower right here. Excellent! It could bloom in a couple of days. And a beautiful male flower. And this one right here is a female flower that already bloomed. And I tried to fertilize it, but it was in the rain. So we'll find out whether that worked or not. <laughs> but wow, I am just really excited about this progress. <sighs> it's so satisfying to have real little pumpkins popping up again. This is my second time of having surprise pumpkins, but I will always enjoy it. Just beautiful, beautiful plants. Let's check on these pumpkins. Ooh my, look at that beauty. It looks like it's growing wider and maybe getting a little bit of color at the bottom. Oh my goodness. And it's really, really gaining a hefty stem. I think it's gonna be a beautiful one when it's finished. Let's check on the other one. Look at all these gorgeous flowers. Okay. Oh my gosh. This one has gotten quite a bit bigger actually already. And it's getting some color. It looks like it's getting yellow. I bet this is going to be a beautiful orange one when it's done. Oh wow. I don't know how well you can see it. Oh, there we go. Yes. Such a pretty pumpkin. And there are plenty more waiting to pop up. We've got this little baby right there. And then yet another one right over here. This one that we tried to fertilize, I'm not too sure it was successful. The flower fell off and it's sort of going to be a matter of waiting to find out whether it's going to actually survive. But 
you know, we tried our best and that's all we really can do. But I'm very pleased with what's happened so far. I can't believe we've got some real pumpkins here. And don't worry, I'll film a pumpkin update once they get really big. Comment below if you have any tips on how to grow pumpkins. Since I've only really magically found pumpkins appearing in my garden, and I really don't know how to grow them on purpose, I'd love to have some ideas. Ooh, it's raining! I'm such a pluviophile. I love rainy days. I'm also cutting off pieces of plants to try to propagate them. A lot of plants will grow roots if you just stick the bottom end of them in water. It's, well, pretty magical. So here is my lovely deck tomato plant. It's not perfect, but it's doing pretty well for a shaded area. And I wanted to show you guys how I cut off a sucker and make a new tomato plant. So right here, there's a sucker. So let's see if I can get it out. Okay, so you see, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of hard to see, but there's three little pieces here. One's the main stem, one's a branch, and this one right here is the sucker. So. I'm going to ease on up towards it. I've got my handy dandy cutters right here. And we're gonna very carefully. Uh oh. Trim that sucker. Okay, so now that I've got it out, here, let's see if we can. Get a nice good look at it. All right, and we've got a little end. We're gonna take that end and stick it in water. I've got a nice little bottle full of water. And we just need to make sure that the leaves don't get too wet because tomato plants do not like wet leaves. <laughs> okay. Cool. and I will update later and show you what it looks like after a few days or weeks. Look at my propagated tomato plant! It's doing so well! Let's see if I can show you its roots. Yeah, Roots! So I just had it sitting here in water for a couple of weeks, I believe, at this point. And I just changed the water every few days. And that's all it needed. And it's even sprouting its own little new piece. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I think that if I could propagate little tomato plants like this one, I might be able to have them survive over the winter. And maybe when it gets warm out next year in the spring, I can plant one and have it grow really big and get fresh tomatoes out of it. It really is like magic. And we can't forget about next year. I've got to store some seeds so that next growing season it's plentiful. Hopefully once springtime comes, I can make them into beautiful new plants. These lovely seeds right here are probably pumpkin seeds. I found them amongst my pumpkins and I think that they're from a pumpkin that was gone too soon and I'm going to store them in this little paper packet that I made. And hopefully they will keep and be safe until next year. Now the rest of these seeds, you might be wondering what those are from. They're from an acorn squash. Ah, it was gone too soon as well. It didn't make it quite towards the Halloween season, although it looked very pumpkin-y. I'll miss it a lot. But I think that they will likely keep towards next year as well. I did plant a few of them in hopes that they would come back up next spring. But in the warm weather that we're still currently having this fall, they thought it already was spring, I guess, and have popped up 
to grow into little plants already. We'll find out what happens. We could always have an unseasonably warm winter and then maybe they'll thrive and I'll get some squash over the winter. I don't have high hopes though. All right, so we're going to just put these straight in the paper container. I'm gonna label it. And then next spring, early in the spring, maybe even in the late winter, I will start the seeds and I'll show you how I do that. And hopefully we can have nice little sprouts growing by the time spring begins. It'll be lovely. I hope you enjoyed stepping into the garden with me today. I know I had a lot of fun. So, do you grow plants? If you do, let me know what kind you do in the comments below. And if you don't grow plants, let me know what kind you would if you had the chance. I'd love to read about it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to add a like and subscribe for more plants, sewing, witchy life, and saving things, of course. I'll be back next Thursday with a brand new video, so see you soon. And remember, my celestial friends, save whatever beautiful and delicious plants that you can, especially pumpkins. Be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. I can't wait to plant the seeds in the ground.